Hi guys, it's Patty from I Can't Wait. I hope everyone's doing well today and having a great day this Thursday, October 19th, 2017. Today is kind of a special day for me. It's my six month surge anniversary. So I'm really excited about that. I'm excited with my progress. And um, I just wanted to update you guys on kind of what's going on with me. I'll run the numbers first. Um, I am five foot three and a half. I'm 59 years old, and I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy or VSG weight loss surgery on April 19th, 2017, in Tijuana, Mexico, with Dr. Alman with Dr. Mario Almanza of Weight Loss Agents. Um, I had a great experience. Um, I've done really well. Um, I haven't lost as much weight in inches as I was hoping that I would by this time, but I am just excited that the scale is going in the right direction. So anyway, I am currently following as of month four. So for the last two months, I've been following a low carb keto type diet. And, uh, after a four week stall, which was scary, my weight loss is now continuing to go down. So today's weight is 197.9. Yay! I'm so glad I'm still in Wonderland. I was afraid it might creep back up for some unknown reason, Could just, just my mentalness. But anywho, I'm really glad that I'm still in Wonderland and I'm glad that I'm still doing okay, losing one to two pounds a week. Last week, I was 199.3, so I have lost, uh, let's see, how much is that? I've lost 67.1 pounds total from my highest weight, which was 265 on the day of surgery. I just wanted to update everyone with how I'm doing and how I'm feeling, and I've got to say, I have felt pretty good, especially the last couple months. Um, right after surgery, of course, it was tough, and the liquid diet and the puree diet and all those things that you have to go through, they were hard, but they were doable. And I feel so good ever since I started my low-carb keto diet. Before, I was eating, I was eating yogurt and some carbs and probably a few things I shouldn't have been eating, but when my weight loss came to a halt at month four, I totally freaked out, and I think I've said that before. So starting the low-carb keto diet really kicked things into action, so to speak. So as of today, I have lost in inches, 27 inches in total. Um, I've lost eight inches in my waist, 10 inches in my hips, six inches in my bust, and three inches in my arms, which is hard to believe because they're still so massive, but I guess the tape measure doesn't lie. But I'm excited with my progress. I wish it were a little faster. I guess everyone probably does, but as long as it's I'm still losing, then I'm happy. I think I lost one point three pounds this week or something like that. Um, my weigh day is Tuesday, so that was a couple days ago. I might even be a few ounces lighter than 197.9, but it doesn't matter. Next Tuesday I'll weigh again and hopefully it will have gone down. Um, I'm tracking my food on a program called Lose It because my fitness pal stopped working after I upgraded my iOS to iOS 11 on my iPhone and my iPad. I have no idea why it doesn't work, but it doesn't. I even tried uninstalling the app and installing it again, and MFP just, it doesn't work. Every time I try to enter a food, it would kick me out. So I don't know what's going on there. If anybody else has, has had this problem and fixed it, please let me know down below in the comment section because I really miss my fitness pal. It's a great tool. And lose it's okay. I mean, you get your food in and your calories and your macros, but it's just not quite as good, I don't think. But it's adequate. I wanted to tell you a little bit 
more about myself. Um, since the year 2000, I have battled many health issues, and among them are Lyme disease and metastatic thyroid cancer. So there were a lot of years from Y2K, remember that, from the year 2000 that um, I just felt like crap every day of my life. And the last three years, thank the Lord, I have been so, so much better. I got my Lyme disease treated. Um, my cancer hasn't recurred. I, I had three uh, rounds of radiation. I had four surgeries for cancer. And then my Lyme disease just made me absolutely miserable for years. And I wasn't diagnosed with Lyme disease for seven years. So until 2007, I had this horrible thing going on with my body that disrupted my life. I had to quit my job. I mean, everything, everything was completely turned upside down. And it took seven years for me to be diagnosed with Lyme disease. And it, by then it had really ravaged my body. So during that time, those years of, of being ill, I did, a, I had a lot of addictions, um, that I was practicing because I felt so horrible. I couldn't even get up a lot. I mean, many days, most days. I shopped, I got my family in debt, and I ate and ate and ate. And that's sort of what precipitated my being morbidly obese. So, Getting my health problems solved really went a long way in helping me with trying to lose the weight. Um, I think I lost 50 pounds three or four times in the last 20 years. It's just ridiculous. So uh, I knew about a year ago, last fall, that I wanted. I decided to get VSG surgery, weight loss surgery. And I knew that it was the right thing for me, and I just had a sense of peace about it, and I felt like that was the right decision, and my husband concurred. So we sold the vehicle, we raised the money, and uh, my insurance wouldn't cover any kind of weight loss surgery for any reason whatsoever. So we had to go to the Mexico route, which was fine, and I'm happy I did it. So any of you on the fence, about VSG in general or going to Mexico, don't be. It's it's good. It's fine. It's one of the best decisions I've ever made in my whole life. And it has helped me so very much. I can't even tell you. So please don't be afraid. Every surgery has or can have complications. And I've experienced many of them because I've had 18 surgeries in my life, many of them gynecological. <clears throat> Excuse me. But if you have any questions or comments about VSG surgery, just put them down below and, and um, I will read them and I will answer every single one of them. So I am married uh, to a wonderful guy. I have two uh, grown adult children. My son is 31 and lives in Northern California. My daughter is 28 and she lives in Northern Utah, about five hours from me. I have three grandchildren so far, hopefully I'll have more. And I live a pretty peaceful, happy life. I don't have a lot of stress going on. Um, I don't work. I volunteer at our local hospital in the surgical recovery room or also known as PACU for you nurse people and medical people out there. Um, I love my volunteer position. It's hard work sometimes. I do a lot. I, I work, I do the same thing the CNAs do pretty much except take blood sugars on patients. So I really enjoy it and it's my social outlet. Um, I moved from California to Southern Utah about 14 years ago. I love it here, but I don't have a lot of friends. I have friends at church that, and a couple I see on occasion outside church, but most of my friends are in Arizona and California still. So I get really bored and really kind of lonely. And I know that probably makes some of you mad because you have such stressful, crazy lives and you're still raising kids and 
working and doing all that stuff. I did it too. I, I know what it's like. It, it's, it's some of the hardest trials and hardest times of your life. But then you're an empty nester and you have the opposite problem. <laughs> so that's why I love YouTube. Um, I watch YouTube videos every single day, not just from weight loss surgery patients, but other videos too. And I learn a lot from a lot of people. I'm so grateful for all of you and I'm so grateful for all your videos. Please continue to make them because they really um, make my day. I want to thank everyone for commenting and subscribing to my videos. I, I've only made, I think this is my fourth or fifth one, but it means a lot to me that you view them and that you love and support me. Um, it helps me so much in my life because I don't really have anybody else to talk to about my weight loss surgery and the journey that we're on. So please like and subscribe if you can and um, I will talk to you soon with another update. Oh, by the way, I'm going to try to put some photos in. I hope it works. I'm not so great at this editing thing, but I'll do my best to put some photos in of what I look like today. My husband took the pictures this morning at 4.30 in the morning because, yeah, I have insomnia and I don't sleep. Anywho, um, I hope everyone has a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.